hear those sleigh bells jingling, ring ting tingling too. Come on, it's lovely weather for sleigh riding. Hey guys, so today I decided to go on a limb and do the craziest challenge that could ever be known to a woman. The $20 makeup challenge, but uh-uh-uh, I gave myself an even harder time by doing it. $20 holiday makeup look edition. Um, yeah, I don't know what got into me and why I decided to do that. I realized how much money goes into my face whenever I do my makeup after doing this challenge. So obviously, this is the look that I came up with. Um, I wanted to go extravagant and glamorous, and the only way for me to be able to do that was really clipping coupons and you know, going on the sale aisle and the good thing about CVS is that you can check out yourself so they don't check for your coupons sometimes, so. Anyways, so here it is, my $20 makeup challenge holiday edition. This is the look. And I really hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you guys have a wonderful holiday. I hope you guys try to create this look with your own 20 bucks. Um, if you're watching this, then I guess I challenge you to do this challenge as well. $20 makeup challenge with a holiday look twist. Mm-hmm. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will see you guys next time. Mwah. Alright, so I am going to start off with my face using this Wet n Wild Coverall Foundation that I got at the drugstore for $3.50. I'm just going to apply that all over my face and I'm going to be using my fingers because I had no money to get me some brushes. And this foundation wasn't really great on coverage so I had to go back with the second layer and apply that with my fingers all over my face. Now, I was able to afford some concealer because this awesome Wet n Wild coverall concealer was on clearance for a dollar. So I'm just going to use that and apply that all over my under eyes. And yeah, it was really hard to, I had to like melt it a little bit with my breath. Um, and I'm just going to put that around my nose, my lips to make sure I kind of lighten that up. And I'm also going to double up this uh, concealer as my eyeshadow base and I'm going to apply that on the top of my lids. This wasn't the best concealer that I've used, but for a dollar, it was pretty darn good. Okay, I don't know what happened to the music clip, but anyways, for my eyes, I'm going to be using this Maybelline eyeshadow quad that I got on sale for $3.28. Yes, can we say bargain? Oh yeah. Um, and I'm going to use this basically for everything. I'm using that dark brown color to kind of fill in my brows. I'm a little bummed. I started filling in my brows and then I realized my camera shut off and stopped recording. But anyways, moving on, I am using that light white color to kind of base all of my lid and then I'm going to take that nice and golden champagne color and I'm going to apply that on the lower half of my lid. Now to start my eye look, I am using this e.l.f. blending brush and it's the only brush that I'm going to be using this entire tutorial for my eyes and I'm going to use that brush and I'm going to dip it into that brown color and kind of use that for my crease color to transition out the colors that I will be applying later on. Now, using the same brush, I am going to take that dark teal color from the quad and I'm just going to use that to kind of smoke out my look and concentrate on my outer V. And I'm just going to slowly pat that in with my brush and then I'm going to blend it out a little bit um, in circular motions to make sure all the colors are blending out nicely. Now, I was really hoping to find some gold pigments or gold shimmer 
glitter or something for this look. The next best thing I found was this color tattoo pigment. It says it's gold, but it actually looks kind of yellow. Um, but however, it'll still work. I'm just applying that with the sponge tip applicator that came in the quad and applying that on my middle and inner lid. Next, I am going to be lining my eyes with this e.l.f. liquid liner that I got for a dollar. I don't know how much it normally sells for, but I got it for a dollar at Target. And I have to say, I really like this liner. Um, it's, the formula is really, really nice. And the applicator is really easy to use. And it actually didn't smudge at all, which I was really impressed And now I'm just going to go in with my sponge tip applicator and whatever's left in the brush I'm just going to smudge out the liquid liner that I applied on my lower lash line. Next I'm going to be applying mascara. I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Mega Plump mascara that I got from Walgreens for $2. I am not really impressed by this mascara. It did nothing for my lashes. It just darkened my lashes a little bit. Um, no volume whatsoever. So I really hope I don't have to use this mascara again. But for two dollars, you really can't go wrong for this challenge. So I'm using it. Now I'm taking that white eyeshadow from the quad and I'm going to use it to highlight inside my tear dot and then also I'm taking that to kind of highlight on top of my cheeks, down the strip of my nose. Um, oftentimes eyeshadow can double as a highlighter so use it when you can. Next I'm going to be applying false lashes and the ones I got here are from e.l.f. Can you believe they're a dollar and they came with their own glue? Now I don't trust their glue because it's probably going to fall off but I'm going to use it anyways for the purpose of this look. I'm just going to apply those lashes on. Next, I'm going to be applying my blush with this e.l.f. blush brush that I got at Target as well. I actually really love these e.l.f. blushes. They are amazing. The color pigmentation is fantabulous as you can see here. And also I like that it has a little bit of shimmer which gives your face a nice glow. Now using the same brush, I am going to go into that dark brown color in the quad and I'm going to use that eyeshadow to slightly contour my face. Oftentimes you can use eyeshadows that are light browns or dark browns to contour just as well as a bronzer would do. Next I'm going to be lining my lips with this Jordana lip liner that I got at the 99 cent store for 99 cents and I'm just going to apply that before my lip gloss so make sure that it sticks and it doesn't bleed out of my lips. Now I'm going to be applying this Wet n Wild Mega Last Gloss on top of my lip liner. I actually really like this gloss. It's really long lasting and the color payoff is amazing. So that's why I chose this one versus a lipstick. Alright guys, that's pretty much it for my $20 makeup challenge. I came up to the total of $19.77, which is pretty cheap and tabulous counting that this challenge is pretty tough. The only way I was able to make it was by doing some extreme couponing and sale finding. But I am confident that if you guys try, you will be able to do it as well. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Happy holidays and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.